Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the ICI Magnum RT series front bumper on this 2017 Ford F-250. Now we're going to start with our factory bumper already off. Now if you need help with that, go ahead and check out our video on how to remove your factory front bumper. But let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing that we're going to do is take our frame bracket. It's going to be kind of a rectangular bracket. It's going to have four holes at the top. It's also going to have four holes at the front. Now the ones at the front are going to be slightly offset. You're going to want that offset to the inside of the vehicle. So once you have the correct bracket, we're just going to fit that over our frame. And then we're going to line up the four holes at the top of our bracket to the four holes at the top of our frame. Now with our passenger side bracket in place, we're going to go ahead and put our winch tray on top of that. Um, at this point, you would want to have a winch installed when you are doing this on your truck. We're not going to have one just so it's easier for you to see all the bolts going in but after the bumper is on you will not be able to install your winch here so you're going to want to do that at this time. So after you have your winch installed you're going to lift your winch tray over the top of your bracket and it's going to fall in place like that and again at the top of our winch plate we're going to have four holes that we want to line up with all of the other holes going through our frame bracket and through our frame. And then once you have your winch tray in place, you can go ahead and put your other frame bracket on your driver's side the same way we did the passenger one. Next, we're going to push in our winch tray a little bit. We're going to take a provided bolt plate, go up through the bottom. Go up through the bottom of our frame bracket, setting that in place, and then we're going to put our plastic uh, retaining washers on there. Take another bolt plate and go through our outside holes and again put our plastic retaining washers on there. We're going to go ahead and repeat that on the opposite side. Now we're on the driver's side. We're going to align the two holes going in through the side of the frame. We're going to align our winch plate with our frame bracket with our frame. We're going to go from the outside of the truck to the inside and then come out the other side and then put a washer, lock washer, and a nut on the end. We're going to do that on both holes. We're just going to leave those loose for right now and then we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. Next we're going to take our nut plate and we're going to place that to the inside of our frame and we're going to match that up with our four holes at the top of our brackets and then we're going to use a provided bolt with a washer and lock washer and go through all the way through to our bolt plate and we're just going to leave all of these loose for right now. And then we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. So now we have the factory bumper and we need to transfer over any components to our new bumper that we're going to reuse. So for us, we don't have any factory fog lights or wiring harness. So the only thing that we need to transfer over is our um, plastic bumper piece here that goes underneath of our lights. But if you have any of those other things, you're going to want to take those out of your factory bumper at this point and put them into your new bumper. So we're just going to use a panel popper to remove our plastic push pins.
And we'll go ahead and do that on both sides. Now we're going to put our protective molding onto our new bumper. We're going to use the same push pins that we removed earlier. We're going to go ahead and do that on both sides. And at this time, you're also going to want to put in any kind of lights or anything that you're going to run inside your bumper. Now we're going to fit our bumper up to our brackets. You want to make sure you tape off your painted surfaces. Now with our bumper in place, we're going to put two nuts on each side. And this is just going to be to hold the bumper in place for us while we align it to the fenders. The next thing that we're going to do is adjust the depth of our bumper. Now to do that, we're going to go to the side of our truck and we're going to look at our fender well and the side of our bumper. And now we want to make that one continuous line as best as we can. Now if it's not in a perfect line, you either can adjust your bumper in or out, and that's going to adjust the brackets on the inside. Now you want to do this on both sides, and then after you have it where you want it, we can go back in and tighten down some bolts. Now with the depth of our bumper aligned, we're going to go ahead and tighten down the 18 millimeter bolts that are going from our frame bracket to our frame. It's going to be an 18 millimeter wrench and socket. And we're going to go ahead and tighten these down to 65 foot pounds. We're going to do that on both sides. Next, we're going to take our bumper back off. Now we can tighten down our four bolts on top of our brackets, and that's going to be to 65 foot pounds. We're going to use an 18 millimeter socket. and then repeat that on the opposite side. Now we can lift our bumper back onto our brackets. Now we're going to push our D-rings over our two bolt plates. And then with that in place, we're going to use a lock washer and a nut on our studs. We're just going to leave those loose for right now. And we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. Now we have a jack underneath of our bumper to lift it up to our desired height. And once we get it there, we can go ahead and tighten down our four bolts on the front of our bumper with an 18 millimeter. We're going to go ahead and tighten those nuts down to 65 foot-pounds, and then we're going to repeat that on the other side. All right, guys, that completes the installation. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us online. Thanks.